everyone. Aren't you excited? It's such a good thing that we get the chance to be together for our very first chapel. I want to submit to you that the way we will change the world is to begin now. Let's start with small acts of kindness that we can do right here, right now. This past weekend, we were very fortunate to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the sit-in by Clara Luber. Yeah, 60 years ago, Clara Luber, her son, her daughter, and a group of youth council members sat in a cat's drugstore in downtown Oklahoma City when they were not supposed to, just because of the color of their skin. Clara's kind and non-violent sit-in occurred more than a year and a half before the Greensboro, North Carolina sit-ins that garnered much of the attention of the civil rights movement. Two days after that event, Cat's Drug Store desegregated its lunch counters in three states, and her one small dream had a ripple effect across three states and, a, and also affected a major civil rights movement, all because she dreamt small and she acted. Let's all dream small. Let's find small, easy ways we can be kind to each other right here in our school and to others in the communities we live in. And let's not wait until we can do it all. Let's start right now, right here, changing the world, one random act of kindness at a time. Then let's sit back and watch as the ripple effects take hold in our communities. I promise you'll find this amazing. <laughs> 